I hope to break the stereotype that most people have about track and field athletes. People tend to think that we are short-haired, don't do any makeup, and that we are just ordinary athletes. I think now in the 21st century, athletes should be able to show their individuality, show the world a different kind of beauty in the sport of track and field. So maybe I always look a bit overdressed on the track. I really didn't expect to do that. I entered a race thinking that maybe I could qualify for the Olympics this time, but I really didn't expect to actually do it. So when I did it, I was really, really excited. But afterwards, when I think about it more, I don't feel the same excitement because I, Wu Yanyi, does have the ability to do it. It's an experience for me to grow stronger and to learn. It's also encouraged for me, as it is my first Olympics. My childhood dream when I first started training was to compete at the Olympics. So I will compete at these games knowing that I'm here to learn. We all know that. China and maybe Asia is not very good at hurdles. So I hope that I have the ability to advance to the final. I feel I'm more mature mentally in a lot of aspects. I used to be very impatient facing pressure, but this sport has taught me a lot. Like I used to say, if you want someone to grow as a person, train in athletics. So this sport has made me who I am in a lot of ways. Like what my coach likes to say, track and field is a sport for grown-ups. After a while, you will find some true life in this sport. Like defeats and injuries are what happens to athletes. There's no way to avoid it. What is really difficult is to live through that and grow from that. Everybody knows what I need to improve on, my start at the race, and my physical strength and a lot of details needs to be polished. Now I still have an injury and I have to make sure it doesn't get worse leading up to the Olympics.